Okay, today I want to go over a concept in Google Ads called shared budgets. So shared budgets allow you to actually share a budget between multiple campaigns. Now, there are some reasons why you're not able to do this if you are using certain bid strategies. So some of the smart bidding strategies will not allow you to do this. And I'm going to go over really the best practice and the way to set this up uh, specifically for your search campaigns. So I use these more often for search campaigns than anything else. I just want to show you an example here. Now, for these three campaigns right here, I have two search campaigns and a display campaign. If we come over here to settings real quick, all three of these campaigns are using the CPC enhanced bid strategy type. So if we come over here and we click on tools, under tools, you're going to see our budgets and bidding and shared budgets. Now, if we come over to our campaigns, or you can see it right there, but our campaigns have $50 per day budgets. So let's just say I want to spend $150 per day between these three campaigns. So let's set a shared budget. We're going to come over here to tools and we're going to come to shared budgets and we're going to create a new shared budget. So select the three campaigns. We'll, we'll name it a shared budget example. Uh, since we're using the, the CPC bidding strategy, we shouldn't have any issues clicking on save here. Sometimes if you're using maximize conversion value or target return on ad spend, any of the smart bidding strategies, you may get an error here. So if we click on save, okay, so since we're using that bidding strategy, it allows us to add these three campaigns to a shared budget of $150. So if we come over here to campaigns and we look at our campaigns here, what you're going to see if we scroll down is we now have our three different budgets. It's showing average $50 per day, but it's also saying $150 per day in a shared budget example. So this is the shared budget that we created and you can easily remove campaigns from a shared budget at any time. So if you come over to the display campaign, for example, and we click on the settings, what you could see right here is we have our shared budget example of $150 per day. And instead of using a shared budget, you can sele select an individual campaign budget and just say, okay, we're going to spend $50 per day for this campaign instead of using a shared budget. So you could easily change away from a shared budget by just setting an individual campaign budget and going back to it at any time. And now our shared budget, since it's $150 per day and it's only two campaigns, now it's saying these two are each going to average about $75 per day. Now the best practice here, let's remove these from shared budgets really quickly. Okay, so we set all three of these now at $50 per day rather than $150 per day shared. So now each campaign is gonna spend around $50 per day. Um, but what we can do and what uh, really the best practice is here is to combine your portfolio bid strategy. So we're going to come over here to tools again and come down to budgets and bidding and go to bid strategies. This is going to open up our portfolio bid strategies page where we can create a bid strategy and apply it to multiple campaigns. So what you want to do here is click on the plus sign and let's just say we want to maximize conversion value and we want a target return on ad spend of 350%. So what we're going to say is our Okay, portfolio bid strategy here for 350%. And then we want to select our campaign. So we're going to come over here and select our two search campaigns. As you're going to see, our display campaign does not come up here. So we cannot add our display campaign to our portfolio bid strategy. Really just going to pull up our search campaigns here. And we're going to click on done, which you don't really want to mix and match too many different campaign types anyway. So you can't. Um, and then one of the options here is going to be create a shared budget to use with this portfolio bid strategy. And then we can come over to here to advanced options and say, I don't want to bid more than $3 for either of these campaigns. So now what we're telling Google ads is, okay, I want to take these two campaigns. I want to set a target return on ad spend bid strategy between these two campaigns at 350%. So every $1 we spend returns $3 and 50 cents of revenue. So now we have our portfolio bid strategy, 350%, our shared budget of $100 between these two campaigns. So that's how much we're going to spend each day across two campaigns. Now what's going to happen is one of the campaigns may be outperforming the other, and that one's going to end up getting more budget. So that's why you want to combine your portfolio bid strategies with your shared budgets to really maximize the results if you're running multiple search campaigns. So you definitely want to let your campaigns test, and it helps to have two campaigns that are actually driving conversions over 30 conversions in a monthly period is going to be a best practice. So the more conversions you drive, the more data you give to Google ads, the better that your smart bidding strategy and the more conversion value you're actually going to drive. But if we click on save here, now we have a new portfolio bid strategy and you're going to see we're using the maximized conversion value with target return on ad spend of 350%. So this is now a learning new strategy with a shared budget where what we can do is now we're optimizing our campaigns to actually maximize our total 
conversion value based on the budget that we're spending. So you're going to see here, we won't be charged. It's it's today is the final day of November. So it's saying we won't be charged more than $100. But it, over the course of a full month, we would spend $3,000 between these two campaigns. Our display campaign is just going to have a separate budget. Um, I generally don't share budgets between different campaign types, but you could still do it if you want to. There are going to be some errors if you're running smart bidding strategies with your actual uh, shared budgets. So just make sure that you keep that in mind that you're probably gonna have to run manual CPC if you are trying to share budget between multiple campaigns. But as a best practice, if you have two different search campaigns running like this, set a shared budget, set a portfolio bid strategy, especially if both of them are geared towards driving conversion value for your business. And then at any time, what you can do is come over here to tools and go to your bid strategies. And you're going to see our portfolio bid strategy here with a shared budget. And as we scroll down under settings, we can change this at any time. Let's say this is performing really well. Maybe we want to spend $200 per day. And maybe our target, our return on ad spend is at over five or over 400%. Let's say we want to have at least a 400% target return on ad spend. And we come down here, we're having no problem spending our budget. Let's lower our maximum bid limit slightly and try to get the most out of our budget, the most return on ad spend without overspending on specific clicks. So this is another way to do this. Now you may not want to put the percentage in there in case you change it over time, but now we have our target return on ad spend bid strategy. We've been able to set a maximum bid limit. You could set a minimum bid limit if you want to. We have our shared budget between our two campaigns. So now what Google ads is going to do is basically say, we are going to spend this $200 as optimally as possible so that we can hit your target return on ad spend or or even do better than your target return on ad spend. Now, 400% return on ad spend is very strong. Not always the easiest thing to actually accomplish, but we have our strategy resaved here. And what we can do is come over here to our campaigns and we can see, okay, now we are running this as optimally as possible because we have our shared budget with our smart bidding strategy. So if you have any questions about shared budgets and how they work, uh, please leave them in the comment section. It's a great way to make sure that you're spending your full daily budget and also spending it in a way that's as optimal as possible. Basically giving Google some, some of the keys to making sure that they're using every single signal they have to use the budget from the campaign that is driving the higher return on ad spend. And then any leftover budget that we have is going to go into one of the other campaigns, as long as that's driving conversions as well. So thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. If you want to drive more clients and more customers in 2024 and beyond, then you want to join Surfside VIP. It is the membership program for the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. You can join by going to surfsideppc.com slash membership. The moment you join, you get access to all of my content in the membership section. I currently have 27 videos published. If we come over here, I talk about all sorts of things from content marketing, search engine optimization, and it's only $2.99 a month. That means for the entire year, it's less than $36. I'm also going to be going over how to become a freelancer that can get freelance clients and how to build your own service business like I've done for Surfside PPC. So if you're interested in joining Surfside VIP, go to surfsideppc.com slash membership today and get started. It's only $2.99 a month and you get access to all of my premium content.